Turbo Door has the color shift and poppy metallics for your miniatures. <laughs> Bits. <laughs> Welcome back Hobby Maniacs. I'm Rob Bear from SpikyBits.com. Today I'm going to showcase for you some really cool color shift and metallic paints by Turbo Dork. They sent these paints over back in November. I know you're like, dude, it's summer. <sighs> I know. But here's the thing, guys. I really like to use something and get to know the product before I try talking about it. Now, I already knew it was cool and I, I know people are using it but I couldn't speak conversationally. And learning a new line of paints actually takes quite a bit of time, uh, probably more probably more than I gave it credit for. So I wanted to spend the time with it and really get, kind of get to know all of the paints that they sent over and they sent over the expansion paints too, but that's, that's gonna be a separate video. Although we used a couple of them already that I'm about to show you here in a few minutes. So long story short, Turbo Dork, Color Shift, and Metallic Paints, 20 ounce bottles of very good value for $6. They got some bundles and they uh, have sales from time to time where you can save a little bit of money. 20 ounces for $6. I don't think I need to tell you that while Games Workshop doesn't have Color Shift paints, they do have a lot of paints that for 18 and 24 ounces is almost eight dollars so you're already looking at a value on these paints whether you know they might be something that you can get somewhere else or potentially source them from turbo dork because they're made here in the states and you can source them with a pretty decent ship time here in the states you know they make them in california so if you're on the east coast gonna take you know it might take a week because liquid has to generally go shipping different and things but long story short Let's jump in. I like I like these paints from the get-go. I wanted to get my hot little hands on them. Finally, we did, and now I'm gonna talk to you conversationally about them on behalf of Turbo Dork. Straight out of the 80s, Turbo Dork site is, uh, well, it's, it's neon. It's all neon all the time. <laughs> I love it. So here are the offerings that they have. Volume one color shift bundle, which we're gonna show you today as well as the metallics. Those were what came out last year. So each of these is eight different paints. So obviously $48, $6 a pot. You can save a little bit if you scoop up the bundle. Then later on, they came out with two expansion packs that were made for different colored primers. Because remember, traditionally with the color shift, you have to use a gloss black undercoat, which is very important. But with the, the newer stuff that they're putting out, you don't have to. So this is just to kind of give you an idea of what's gonna come in here. And we're also gonna use every one of these colors off camera and show you what they're gonna look like. The camera might not capture it, which is a little disappointing, but we may have to just take, snap a pic with our camera, bring it up into the video and show that to you. So there's eight different color shift paints here. Also, there's eight different super poppy metallics. And this is where the hotness is because these are some really cool colors that would look good on Space Marines. And obviously some of these are very, very obvious what <laughs> particular legion they would go with. And like I said, with the big bottle of paint, you're really gonna get kind of a lot for your money here. So these are the 16 paints we're gonna show you today. Uh, they're on sale right now. I can't say when this video comes out if they will still be on sale, but there always uh, seems to be something over here to check out and potentially scoop up bundle-wise right here. So they have a they have an all metallics or every every paint they make, and then the four sets, and then you can buy them in onesies, of course, as well. So first up, I'm gonna show you how to use the paints themselves. This is Dobbity. This is not a color shift paint. This is how it compares to something like a Vallejo pot or something like that. So they're a little bit shorter, but they are 20 milliliters and they got that fat bottom. So a little bit fatter, but lots and lots of paint in here. Now, currently Turbo Dork has a larger agitator in here. You're gonna hear this, it's very small, it's like a BB. Sometimes it gets caught in the top right here. So don't, don't mash down on this thing. If you think it's clogged, just get you a little paper clip and booyah, clear the hole right there to get started in the airbrush. Now you can brush these paints too. You don't have to worry about that. It isn't just airbrush only. We're gonna throw a little bit of flow improver in here like the so. Now I wanna be very upfront with you. A lot of these paints are not labeled as non-toxic. You need to wear a mask. You need to have some sort of ventilation or something like that because um, <laughs> I have definitely had a headache 
using this stuff without ventilation. So I think it's bad. It's also made me sneeze. So uh, be be prepared. That is that is a thing. Do not do not mess up. Do not disrespect these paints. They will uh, own you if you do. So really quick, just uh, just messing around there with a little back flush. The key to these paints is keeping the mix thoroughly mixed up in the pot. This is gonna separate, but they say always shake thoroughly. So this is gonna separate in a pot and you wanna make sure that when it starts to look like this, that you mix it up in the pot because otherwise it's gonna just not look right. So we add a little bit of flow improver. I'm giving it a little blast here and we're gonna go. We're just gonna use a spoon and just kind of blast it on here just to give you an idea of how easy this stuff is to use. And literally in seconds. Now these you can use over a normal primer, but we're just gonna go with the standard black right here because that's what we were just doing. Um, the camera kind of takes away a little bit, I feel like. It looks dull, it looks matte. I'm gonna put some light on it there, but it's not quite what it's, it's not quite its true um, shine and kind of poppiness here, which is unfortunately something, I guess, just the way the human eye and cameras kind of uh, capture this stuff. So very quickly, we just put a base coat down. This stuff is very easy to use. Almost one, one actual pass, it's kind of two thin coats, but not that hard to use. You see it's already started to separate in the pot. So at this point, I'll grab out my buster brush and mix it up in the pot. So it's actually just as easy to brush on the paint. Now here is that same Dobbity with some cutbacks of green, which is one of their bright sides. I call it Kurosawa because I can't say that word. We're all good at something. Pronouncing this word, I am not good at. <laughs> so a little airbrush work and a little detail work with a brush and we're good to go. But what I wanted to show you was that if you just put out a little drop of this paint right there, you can see the Dobbity. Remember, don't lick your brush, not, not, not toxic. That means it's toxic. Well, not, not toxic. And you can actually touch up some areas. Now, here's the thing. This is over a black base coat. So it's gonna be a little brighter, but you can also use this as a really cool edge highlight as well. So it's gonna look and appear to be two different colors right there. A much, much brighter, a much, much brighter of the blue on his little uh, butt plate, but, keep in mind that you can just brush this right on. You mix this with a little black, you're gonna be perfectly good to go, and the color's gonna look uh, stunning as well. But you can use it as a highlight over all of this. I just elected to use a little bit of silver, uh, and that worked out pretty good. Now, also on the, I think this was the B-Sides line right here. This was a, nope, it was the bright lights as well. So we used Pucker, and multi-pass, can you guess why it's called multi-pass? <laughs> to do the sword right there. So kind of a, a preview of their expansion sets, but stunning nonetheless right there. So let's get back. I'm gonna go through and airbrush up a spoon with every one of those 16 colors and show you what they will look like. And here they are. I took about two passes with the airbrush over top of all this. These are the metallics, these are not the color shifts. And they are very, very striking. Now, this is what we use. This is the Dabidi. This is what we used on this guy right here. And then we cut in that Kurosawa color, which I seem to have misplaced already, but that's okay. We know what it is. I showed it to you already. So all these are just a very, very poppy, super strong metallic that are gonna look good. They're nice and flat. This is a matte kind of flat look over a gloss black with roughly two coats, give or take. I mean, airbrushing, it's kind of hard. You kind of let it dry and then hit it. And it's like, is that a coat? Is that a half a coat? I don't know, but hit it, let it dry, kind of soak it in and then hit it again. It might actually count as one coat, but you know, it's a little bit of work, no big deal. So these, this is the eight. This is the first metallic series right here. They're, they're all kind of, they look like this and they are, they are very good looking and just glancing at them, you can tell what legions they would definitely be good to represent, or perhaps some of the stuff on the fantasy side, or you know, even some titans, some knights, all sorts of different things and armor potential right there. Now it gets a little trickier because like I said, photographing and filming the color change effect is, I noticed on the stream, it's very hard to do, believe it or not. So these four, well actually all of these eight here are color change. 
but you can't really tell just looking down at it, right? So I tried taking pictures, I tried to do a bunch of different things to show you all the color change uh, principles. And even when I'm looking at it here, like I see the color change here of silver going up from here. If you look very closely, the silver is changing down underneath here on the camera. So things don't exactly convey correctly um, from my eyes to the video to your eyes. It's very weird. Like here, this looks purple and this looks silver. Whereas this to me looking at it right now is silver down here. It's very peculiar. Um, but it would make for a really cool effect on your miniatures. Now this would make a very cool per, uh, Potentially alpha legion. I kind of wish I had gone with this because it's got these really nice deep 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 purples That you can only see in the shadows. It's almost where the absence of light actually hit it hits it It's the only place you can see the color change. So I'm really I'm really kind of upset like we spent a lot of time here here you can see the yellows and the orange, but it's not quite as pronounced as it is in real life, unfortunately. The golds are very poppy and the oranges are, they're kind of under, but they're definitely there. Orange, browns, kind of type deal. So it's, uh, this one is very neat too. Actually, this is the Alpha Legion color. This is what you would use for Alpha Legion because it's got a very, very nice teal, which again is showing down here for me and a really rich Alpha Legion blue up here. But to you, you see the teal and the blue, well, not when I rotate it, but the blue is actually underneath here. So it's, it's frustratingly difficult to video and also show you as, or to video even, even to take a picture. It's very, very frustrating. So just believe me that this is, these look how I say they look because they actually very much do. And I'm very impressed. Um, it's just, I guess it's one of those things. Technology just can't, just can't catch up to it. So uh, douse yourself in these and run around and, uh, you know, cameras might not actually uh, pick up what you would look at. I don't, I, what you would look like. I don't know. I just threw that out there. So anyways, these are the, uh, these are the eight color shift colors. Remember, always wear a mask, turn a fan on. It got very, it got very, very fumey in here very quick. Um, and so I can't say enough things about personal protective gear when it comes to this stuff. It is not non-toxic. Keep that in mind. So that's it for this one. I hope you enjoyed our kind of uh, very thorough, as thorough as I could get, knowing what I know about these paints, uh, review of them. Now I'm pretty familiar with them. I feel very confident in them. And they're fun. They're really fun to play with. Uh, six bucks a pop. I mean, I don't feel like you can really go wrong with that sort of price. It looks good on the on the label right there. It definitely uh, represents very well as far as that goes. Oops, that's not one. But uh, but other than that, I think it's uh, I think it's very cool looking stuff here. And uh, pick them up in singles, pick them up in bundles. You can really have some fun. But don't be afraid to try out some of the different uh, normal artistic stuff that you're used to doing, like edge highlighting. Um, using matte paints for detail work and all of the different things right there that we used with this Alpha Legion miniatures. Overall, I think it's great value, very easy to get here in the States. I could see where this will be appealing to a lot of different people out there. For me personally, um, you know, if I was doing Alpha Legion, I think I'd be definitely down with some of this. It's pretty much pre-made or maybe salamanders or maybe some sort of uh, metallics like some Necrons or something like that. Maybe even some Titans, some tiny Titans, some big Titans. That's how it would appeal to me. I don't know what it would appeal to you, but I'm sure there's a ton of uses out there. Make sure you check out Turbo Dork's website and their Facebook group. They're always posting up crazy pictures of the things people do with these paints. And it, it literally, every time I see it, it blows my mind. So that's it for this one. Thank you very much for watching. Make sure you check out Turbo Dork. Hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you can be the very first to like and comment on all our videos.